Happy New Year, my friends, and for a good start into the new year, I'm making another tutorial. This tutorial, I think, is overdue, and the topic today is um, mixing workflow. What I would like to show you today is um, especially um, vocal mixing and I will not go into detail concerning what exactly I did with, with which plugin, but I try to convey to you the different mixing steps I performed if I build up, for example, a vocal channel. Okay, let's dig into it and I start uh, with the first processing step and I got accustomed to using uh, the Voxenko plugin Voxformer um, for the very first step in my vocal recordings. Uh, what I like about uh, Voxformer is that it uh, comprises several tools which are especially made for processing vocals. That is an equalizer, a one-op compressor, um, you've got a de-esser, um, um, presence drive, and you also have got the possibility to drive the um, sound into a saturation. Okay, if we look um, over the mix, you might realize that for virtually every vocal strip I used the Voxformer. Also here and here. And if we open the Voxformer for several strips, and here's another one, right? You will see they are all exactly the same. So, what this ha what does this have to do with mixing? If I'm using all over the same um, equalizer settings for different vocals, it's because uh, this uh, equalizer setting is not made for mixing. It's uh, um, made for repairing the deficits of my uh, recording. Uh, uh, equipment. I don't have a uh, very high sophisticated uh, recording preamp. I use just normal microphones, not these uh, $3,000 ones. And I also don't have a um, special vocal booth. I just, I'm just uh, home recording in my room and that's it. And because this room has not been uh, specially treated with uh, room acoustics, I have to compensate for the room modes. And this is happening here. And I also have to compensate for the uh, weaknesses of my recording channel. So this first step deals only with the fact that I want to transform the voice into something natural sounding without resonance and room information I don't want to hear. So after this step, I've got a good starting point for real mixing with the voice. And for all who have a good recording equipment and a very good vocal booth, you can skip this. Okay, this is now my very first step. And you, I give you something to listen. Okay, that's the voice voice recording um, without. Oh, sorry. I want to solo it. Okay. For many things I have to spend my... For many things I... There should be a delay. I switch it off. Come on. What's going on here? 
For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I am a stranger to my own. And I'm st Okay. I don't know why why this happened. Okay. No problem. Okay, now let's listen um, to the voice before and after the uh, corrective processing. This is before. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. Maybe you heard the, the ringing of the voice um, in about this frequency and in these frequencies you, you will hear some boxiness and I also of course uh, used a low cut filter in order to remove the low end rumble. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I am a stranger to my own. Okay, now in this step uh, the voice had for me a sound uh, where, where I could start mixing. And now this is very important. Um, while I'm doing this in the solo mode just to get a, a good basic vocal sound for me, um, the next step is I want some stabilization of the voice um, uh, in terms of loudness and I did this with two compressors. The first compressor is the built-in uh, compressor from the vocal strip but if I turned uh, this compressor up too much then it didn't sound natural and I wanted a natural voice as a starting point so I used another compressor and now I get a voice which are natural with a natural sound and uh, which is also consistent in loudness. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I am a stranger. All right. From this moment on I would switch off the solar button and I would start mixing together with, with the other tracks and I would switch it on and off. I would, o would also switch other tracks on and off in order to mix in the rela relation to the other tracks. But here for academical purposes I will show you the next step in solo. For many things I have to... Didn't I switch off the... Ah, okay. I should switch off the automation, maybe. For many things. Ah, all right. Okay. Now, for the next step, I use the so-called character EQ in order to, to um, massage the voice into the mix. And I did this uh, um, by even more reducing the frequencies in the lows and the mids. As you might see here, I also reduced some frequency uh, points, um, producing some um, hills here. And with this EQ, I also removed parts of the hills. And you might be surprised, um, by removing lows and mids, the voice will sound um, brighter afterwards. And I also compensated these uh, frequency removals by adding some gain. Okay, now listen to this. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I am a stranger to my own. And I'm starting to feel alone. Okay. Now that the um, voice got uh, a bit brighter, uh, the S was quite disturbing and I used a de -esser to remove this. And at this moment the voice was already quite okay, so if you listen to the mix... For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same I am a stranger to my own Okay, uh, before I started adding sand um, effects, 
ambience, delays, and so on. I had the uh, feeling that the uh, voice should be uh, should uh, have more stereo information. I wanted to make it wider, and because of the recording uh, was mono, I used stereo spreader, and this um, gives my voice more basic raw information. And this will sound like this. I start without. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I am a str Now with the stereo tool. For many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same. I now am with the music. a stranger to my own. And I'm starting to feel alone I try to find my balance To keep myself sane Now the voice sounds somewhat detached from the rest of the band and this is now processed um, by uh, activating the inserts which are adding now more spatial information for many things I have to spend my time and it's all the same I am a stranger to my own And I'm starting to feel alone I try to find my balance To keep myself sane Okay, that's it guys. I hope uh, this information was useful for you. For me, uh, this is meanwhile kind of a standard process. First step, make your voice kind of neutral as a good starting point. Then try to, to, to get a good consistent um, volume and loudness. Now, the next step, add a character EQ to, to give the noise um, edge uh, as you will and to blend it into the mix. Maybe afterwards you need a de -esser. and if you feel that the um, voice doesn't blend into the uh, backtracking, then add delays and reverb, or like I did here, some uh, stereo room information. Goodbye, that's it. I hope it was helpful. Until next time.